So there we go with the kickoff of Crown Hearts of Foka playing from right to left as you watch. And uh, the ball will go straight to goalkeeper of Indiana Stars and captain Joseph Addo to initiate an attack for them. Indiana Stars are brimming with confidence in this game and they believe that this is an opportunity to put paid to all the noise being made by Accra Hearts of Folk. They believe that they would win this match fair and square. One of the stalwarts you can call on to be favorites to win the league anytime the season begins. Isaac Queen. Sends in across and a deep enterprising one. Yaya yeah, yeah, Mohammed heads it back. A shot is fired, it's blocked. Hunt and it's a goal. The man says he will get a goal. The man says he will get a goal. And Yaya yeah, yeah, Mohammed has opened the floodgates for goals. He says, this is my property. This is where I belong. Go to Adriana Stars and from no other person than Yaya Mohammed. Yaya Mohammed has ever cannon inside the penalty area. Pounds on the loose ball beyond the reach of Richard Atta. So a change has been effected by Accra Hearts of Focus. We kick start the second half. And if you understand, this time around, I play from right to left. Strong challenge comes in on the far side, a battle for the ball. Referee was right there on the spot and gives the advantage to Ebiana Stars. Uh, Flavian Kongoza in the thick of affairs. And obviously, that's not the face of a very happy fan, is it? Free kick advantage is on for Ebiana Stars. It's long, it's deep, but it's headed out. Pressure is still on Accra. Has a foot. Power driver! What a goal! What a goal! What a goal! What a drive there from Prince Alpha. Absolutely stupendous there from the midfielder. And you can see the joy on court, Papas Febin. He's reignited with the player he raised from Heart of Lions. Join him at Kumasi Asante Kotoko. Did he have a good time? And he's really lived up to the villain. Paid off that confidence in him by his coach. What a belter. Absolutely a drive that any goalkeeper will find it difficult to save. And I'm so sad for Richard Atta. He's been on the facing end of the two brilliant goals we've seen this season in the Ghana Premier League. One against Richmond Lamptey in that entire life game. And now he suffered one against Prince Alpha. And so now it's time for prayers for <laughs> the officials of Accra Hearts of Hope. Now on the defensive end, right today with a quick ball. He finds Sam Adams. Can this be the third goal? Sam Adams inside the penalty area. His drive has been parried down by Richard Atta. And he catches it on the second attempt. As that danger is averted by the Phobian for a very nervy end. A delivery inside the penalty area by Joseph Adolf Flaps it away. Ball drop to Radio Ubuka. Ubuka to Patrick Razak and Mohamed Alassan looking for that equalizer. And that ball comes off the line. Lawali calling for a penalty and it looks like a penalty has been given. And you can see Costa Papage. It doesn't look the flamboyant self we saw last Sunday. His team is down. Shoot. Radio Vuka score. The game will go down the wire. Radio Vuka against Joseph Ado. Sefenchi gives the go ahead. Vuka steps forward. Left footed and saves there by Joseph Ado. And the bounce has been hit away by Victor Edu. Radio Vuka misses the penalty. Joseph Ado drives the right way. He pointed away the right way. It fell to Victor Edu. But he also just bounced it off. The goal. Patrick Razak on the receiving end of a very fierce tackle from Hafiz Adam. Manafuma. Sumaila with a very good delivery inside the penalty area. As missed there by the Sefado Radio Vuka looking for at least a consolation, but he has the side net. Absolutely no one. Inside the goal, but Radio Vuka 
fails to hit the target. And he could only hit the side net. Joseph Adon lies on the turf in pain. He missed that aerial challenge. It's the five minutes of time added on has been elapsed. Referee Eric Sefenji, a long ball into the midsection. Gaya Mohammed once again wins that area tussle, but he goes down on the turf in pain. And that will be the final whistle from Mary referee Eric Sefenji as a Diana Stars grab their first three points of the season. Brilliant goal from Prince Alpha from about 25 yards to top up with that earlier lead by Yaya Mohammed. And has a fault for the fourth time. Lose an away game in their last four games.